Hey, what's up, coffee explorers? So in this series of videos, we're going on a road trip. Check it out. This is Jack's Looks at Life, and if you have not subscribed to Traveling Coffee Guy, what are you doing with your coffee-loving life? Also, subscribe to Don't Subscribe. Thank you. We are in a Haystack Rock, Cannon Beach, Oregon. It's a great little lookout spot off of the freeway here. Yeah, let's, let's make some coffee. Right, we've got some freshly roasted Indian Monsoon Malabar. Some really awesome coffee. They harvest it and then they dry it and then they put it out on a barge on the ocean right before monsoon season. And then they have the monsoons and the coffee beans pick up all the, the salty air from, from the monsoon. It really does some special stuff to the coffee. But we got to do it with the best crown here. Not cooperating with you right now, so. I know you know. 
is a storm coming in right behind us. Still might get hit by that. Fresh made coffee here in the rain. Haystack Beach, Cannon Beach, Oregon. That's Haystack Rock there. Malabar Monsoon Coffee from India. Really doesn't get any better than this. Alright, well, I think we're gonna get out of the rain here and uh, go finish this coffee up in the car. So we uh, decided to take a little a little rest stop here in uh, Lincoln City, Oregon, and uh, we found the world's shortest river. It's called the D River. Who knew? 
probably a lot of people, but I didn't. So yeah, I figured this is kind of interesting. Something that you might not know was here. So Lincoln City has the D River, the world's shortest river. Pretty cool. <laughs> coffee explorers as you can see we are now getting ready to enter the redwood national forest so here's how that's gonna go check it out This, uh, this portable Turkish coffee setup is made by uh, Specialty Turkish Coffee. I'll leave a link down below. This is it, it's pretty awesome. Got a got e brick, holder, Bunsen bearer. Quick little stir here. Hopefully this won't take too long to 
it grew up. Yeah, so the Indian monsoon Malabar, they uh, they harvest it, they dry it, and then they put it on a barge right before monsoon season, and then the coffee picks up all the, and the salty air from the monsoons. It's pretty pretty interesting. It definitely makes a smooth cup of coffee, so this should be a pretty pretty good cup. And now because the grounds are still in it, you got to let it sit for a few minutes. All right, well, we went ahead and let the coffee ground settle. Let's give it a taste. Oh, oh yeah, that's that's a great way to start your day right there. It's like drinking chocolate-covered caramels. Mm. Oh, yeah. I highly suggest drinking this Indian Monsoon Malabar coffee as Turkish coffee with Paul Bunyan and Baby Blue Ox. I mean, you can't go wrong, right? <laughs> All right, well, we're going to continue on down on our uh, Redwood Forest uh, adventure and who knows what else we're going to see. One eternity later. The world is spinning and I'm dizzy staring at the stars. So unfortunately, we 
when you go in a Hard Rock Cafe, they just play constant copyrighted music, so I wasn't really able to shoot any video in there, so check out this awesome slideshow of the cool memorabilia that we found. And I'm making sense I'm interested in all that flourishes from ignorance Nothing in my way now Except for my own years The world is spinning and I'm dizzy staring Coffee beans and coffee cups. How cool is that? up in Lake Tahoe at the Hard Rock Cafe and behind me is that's the lake some really awesome looking mountains and stuff but uh, I think pretty soon we're gonna head on over to this place called Heidi's Pancake House this one's about the food got this huge plate of six buttermilk pancakes with some raspberry compote on it. 
came with a mandarin orange or a tangerine or something like that. And then I got a couple of eggs to go with it. And this plate of food looks just, I, there's no way I'm finishing it. <laughs> Let's see what happens here. How good is this? Let's find out. Get you a look. Another little close look here. Look at that raspberry compote, man. It's just, just thick and sweet and tart. And those pancakes are just cooked to perfection. Got to spread this raspberry around here, make sure it gets everywhere. Yeah, this place is practicing social distancing pretty well. We got a section all to ourselves. It's pretty awesome. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is a winner for sure. <laughs> All right, well, this is going to be that for this. <laughs> uh, after we leave here, we're going to go back to the Hard Rock. We're going to do a little bit there. Probably won't videotape anything there because of the music that they play all the time. Uh, I'm not really thrilled about the music being played right now here. But then we're gonna go to the beach of, uh, of Lake Tahoe and check that out. And, and who all knows what else is gonna happen today, so stick around.
Hey, what's up, coffee explorers? We are getting ready to go over to this coffee shop here. It's going to be the first coffee shop review in a while. Revive Coffee in uh, Lake Tahoe, Nevada, and uh, went ahead and got us a V60 here. Let's give it a taste. How good it is! Hmm. My first, my first flavor that I got there is kind of an oak flavor. Um, it's a, a, I wasn't expecting that. Um, I was kind of, kind of figuring I would get more of a chocolate. Usually, usually when you get a, a, a good pour over that, you get that chocolate or that caramel or that fruity taste right off the bat. But this time, it went straight wood, and then you get some uh, like notes of apricot and cherry in the background. Give me a little bit of star anise as well. It's a really good cup of coffee, so uh, I highly suggest if you're in Lake Tahoe, come check this place out. Uh, they definitely know what they're doing with some coffee.
Coffee Explorers. All right, so we are at the Top Deck restaurant of the Club Cal Neva in Reno, Nevada. We just ordered steak and lobster for $12.99. So we got this dinner here, steak and lobster. $12.99 for steak and lobster, you can't beat that. Let's go ahead and try this steak here. Looks like I ordered it medium, but yeah, it looks like I got medium well. It's usually how I get it anyway, so whatever. That's how I liked it when I was a kid. But uh, yeah. Heck yeah, I think if it was just the steak alone and we weren't in Reno, that would have just been everything by itself, 12 bucks. Well, try this lobster out, just pull the thing out. So let's try this lobster out. Mm. Oh, that was a good lobster. Yeah, it's got that extra sweetness you know, that you get when it's nice and fresh. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm telling you. Come to Reno. Come to the Club Cal Nevada. Go up to third floor. Come to the top deck and get yourself some cheap, amazing food. But uh, I'm just going to go ahead and finish this up.
got this, uh, this steak and eggs dinner with Mel's famous hash browns and potatoes and cabbage. Hopefully it's as good as it looks. Get in on this steak right now. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is 10 times as good as the steak from last night. Awesome. Don't even know where to start. <laughs> All right. So before I put any sauce on these, uh, these potatoes, let's, let's try them because, because it's their original seasoning salt. So. Can't hardly taste it. Now let's try these eggs. I'm sure they taste like eggs. <laughs> Yep, definitely tastes like eggs. I'm glad they don't taste like camel. That would, that would be weird if the eggs tasted like camel. <laughs> yeah, it's so weird, you know, in COVID, because you don't get salt and pepper shakers, and you ask for steak sauce they bring it to you in a little container instead of the bottle it's a whole new world we live in yeah, that's definitely one of the best 50 steiners i've ever been in the only one that, that i've been in that, that compares is uh, luna luna park up in seattle yeah this place is awesome i would definitely say if you're in reno Head on over to the Sands Casino and go to Mel's. It'll, you'll save some money. This steak and eggs uh, is only $10.99. That's a pretty damn good deal if you really think about it. Over at the place last night, their steak and eggs was seven dollars, but this this steak's way better. I think that's gonna be that with this video. So, as always. Eat great food. If you found any value or entertainment in this video, I would definitely, definitely appreciate it if you were to give the video a like and maybe even subscribe to my channel and uh, share it with your friends. It would definitely help me with the algorithm. That would be awesome. Thanks.